Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Uncertainty in Obaseki's camp as date for the Federal High Court decision approaches. We all know that we all know that um, there is a lot of court case in precisely four right now on Governor Gordon Obaseki uh, after elections. Uh, some people, uh, you know, still picking on uh, certificate forgery, others saying he did not deserve the victory and as such, INEC should cancel and reconduct the election. There is a lot of uncertainty at the moment with regards to Governor Gordon Obaseki's uh, court case that is coming up. We all know that uh, about four court cases already lined up. But the truth of the matter is the way the man won the election if really you know um he's got his results like you i said the university of ibadan went ahead to publish you know on newspaper national newspaper that indeed obaseki was their student he came in at this time graduated at this time there is no cause for alarm you know if there re if there re really is you know uh, all that he said it is there is no cause for alarm. Let's get on straight into the news and understand the certainty that is, you know, uh, 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 covering the whole court case coming up. Indeed, the dust has been raised by the result of the September 19 Edo State election. It's just to settle as the APC has taken their court case against Governor Gordon Obaseki to a federal high court citing forgery of certificates. In reaction... Governor Gordon Obaseki filed an application to the Court of Appeal to stop the court proceedings of the Federal High Court. However, the application was turned down by Justice Hamed of the, High, of the Court of Appeal. The Federal High Court has gone ahead to give a date January 11 as the day of the ruling of the APC case against Governor Gordon Obaseki. Going by now, predictable the court decision can be or may, may, many of Obaseki supporters worried about the court decision uh, and praying it's, it's in favor of Obaseki as it is for the federal for the for the appeal courts to deny uh, uh, deny Obaseki opportunity to end the court case there is so much uncertainty right now in Obaseki's camp and as the truth of the matter is the full course of the law will take its place. Ize Iyamu still challenging Governor Gordon Obaseki, saying that his own result, when asked, was um, engulfed in fire. However, he said the result presented by Governor Gordon Obaseki to INEC was forged, and that is what he's fighting. And as a result, Obaseki's winning should be nullified, and the runner up, which is himself, should assume the position. You know, we believe that uh, within a few days' time, we'll be keeping you up to date because um, just around the corner is the new year. The new year is really around the corner. A few days precisely to go. You know, uh, what you, uh, Baseki can only do if you, you, when, you, when you have clear conscience, you fear no accusation. When you know that um, you have what it takes, you will not be afraid of, you know, many people coming on you left, right and center. You know, it's it's about time that it's, it's about time that, you know, Obaseki presents and just get this case done and dusted. It's rather becoming, you know, like a, a, a situation where, you know, they, they keep going over and over and over and over it again. What happens is. If this court case continues like this, so much uncertainty, it does not give the governor a position of, you know, rest to be able to put his thoughts together, work with other agencies to ensure, you know, uh, uh, development comes to a do state. So it is important that they allow the governor to work. It is important that they, you know, forget about most of these things give the governor opportunity to settle down and begin to work for the good people of Edo State. If they keep, keep on pursuing him left, right, and center with court case, as we speak, there are four, four court cases against Governor Gordon Obaseki, four, you know, challenging the victory, 
you know, uh, September 19 is around the corner and, you know, very soon, uh, I, I, I beg your pardon, September 19 is come and gone. January 11 is around the corner with regards to that court case. January 11, we have to be, I mean, they have to make a decision. If not, it's, it, it, there is a lifespan for the court case. And if the lifespan of that court case is not, they don't uh, finish the whole judgment, it has to be thrown away. So what Obaseki can do at this time is pray. What his camp can do at this time is trust God and uh, go to UI. They should present his results, which they have done, you know, the University of Ibadan, the, the registrar of the school, the VC, made a public declaration before the whole world, went on, you know, published on national newspaper, that indeed we are proud that one of our students is becoming a governor. Indeed, he finished from our school. He came in at this time. He finished at this time. Still, you know, the court case matter still goes on. You know, they are still um, on him saying uh, what the, you, you have to produce your result. It was a forged certificate. We saw that Governor Gordon Obaseki was at um, the Redeem Camp where he went to see a clergy, uh, the person of uh, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, and um, we heard him giving a testimony that when the, when the heat was on, when the turbulence was so much, he ran to the man of God and pr who prayed with him and told him then that he would win the election, but that after the election, the real prayer, the real case then will be, you know, court cases coming after and Obaseki then asked the people, you know, says he came to thank God that indeed he won the election. And the next thing is people should pray for him. That was what he said. So I believe he's only a humble person, a man with a, with a humble spirit that will go to that length to say, please pray for me. There is a lot going on at this time. I will need your prayers. So, I mean, it is what it is. The court case, January 11 is around the corner. My people, before you turn around, yes, before you say Jack Robinson, it's, it's 25th. 25th is a few days to go. And as soon as you, you, 25th is rolling by, it's the new year, second, third, before you know it is 11th. So uh, for those of you who love Governor, Governor Baseki and think he deserves to serve the people of Edo State, he requests for one thing, and that is to pray. Because he applied to the appeal court and the appeal court denied his motion. We reported and we kept you up to date with regards to that. As we speak, some quarters, some supporters of uh, APC and Eze Yamo have started saying uh, in January, Obaseki will be out of the position and they are already strategizing who will become who and who will become what. So, I mean, you, you, like he said, if you want him to be your governor, you need to pray. Would like you to leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.